about the film, I'd like to introduce you to the executive director of the Minneapolis-St. Paul Film Society, Susan Smolowski. for being here on this beautiful sunny day. Um, we're really glad to have such a large crowd here for Jeff Lipsky's film. The, Jeff is the writer-director of this film. And we also have the producer here today. Um, and they're going to do a Q&A with you. They're going to talk for a few minutes before the film and then do a Q&A with you afterwards. But um, a little history about Jeff. Jeff was here. I oh, know he doesn't like me to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. He was here in 1981 for the very first International Film Festival here in the Twin Cities. And uh, he's been coming back periodically ever since, so we're really glad to have him back this time. And uh, I'm just going to hand it over to Dan Satorius, the producer, and Jeff Lipsky, writer-director. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, do any Q&A or anything. We're just going to go right into the film. Uh, and, but I want to thank you all for coming. Once again, yes, it's a beautiful day. You guys are uh, very uh, uh, good to have come out on such a beautiful day and beautiful evening uh, and a uh, holiday, so my Sunday. Uh, and uh, this is my business partner and friend, Jeff Lipsky, the writer-director of the film. You'll see he's done a, a, an amazing job, and we're very proud of it. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you. Um, yeah, we don't want to take too much time right now. We really want to get into the film. I hope that some, many, even all of you can stay afterwards for a Q&A. Uh, you can come up with the most intimate, penetrating questions you can possibly fathom, and I'll answer all of them uh, to the best of my and your satisfaction. Uh, I also want to welcome you to the only movie that you will see this year that's set in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and that was actually filmed in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. <laughs> Do not accept any imitators. Hello, I'm Julia Brownfield, and we are at the 29th Annual Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival. And I am sitting here with Jeff Lipsky. He wrote and directed 1230. Like all the films I write and direct, they are about family and and sexuality okay. and love, and because those are the only three things everybody on the planet has in common. Right. And if I've done my job well and created honest situations and honest characters, uh -huh. then I believe that everybody who sees the films will be able, film will be able to identify with some aspects, some elements, some ca character mm -hmm. at some point or an, at one point or another in the film. And this movie is really about a mother and her two daughters, 19 and 22. And it's not a dysfunctional family; it's a non-functional family. Uh -huh. And it's about a young man who knows one of the daughters who um, becomes unwittingly the linchpin by which this family begins, hopefully, the healing process. Why did she say that? It's complicated. My dad's been gone for 10 years, and every now and then he still spends the night with her in her bed. Really? Anyway, that's when the Cold War between Maura and me began. I don't think we've spoken more than 20 words to each other in the four years since. She's too much. Holding a grudge is ugly. <laughs> I don't do ugly. Do you? Me? No. I wish I had a brother or sister, though. Really? Yeah. Now, how many uh, film festivals have you been to? I understand. Can you, have you written With, four films? I have written three okay. and directed four. Directed four, okay. And uh, you mean with this film? Yes. With this film, we've only been to three film festivals, okay. and it's been opening uh, as a regular attraction in theaters around the country uh, gradually, oh, so that's been terrific. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, but yeah. two of my films have been in Sundance in okay. the past, and uh, okay. it's been and one was selected by St. Sebastian, so it's been an wow. incredible trip the last ten years. That or so. is great. Yeah. So how do you how do our how does our film festival fare to the other film festivals you've been to? Well, the, the wonderful thing about Minneapolis so far mm -hmm. uh, is that. Much like Toronto and much like Sundance, most of the films are completely packed. Minneapolis is very responsive, very receptive to this sense of discovery. Right. That is right. the hallmark of any good film festival. Absolutely. Well, I certainly appreciate you taking the time out to talk with me today, and I'm Thank so you. glad that you made it to our festival. Thank you and very much. I'm going to see your movie. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it. <laughs> I apologize for putting my hand up, I just can't, yeah. Was it difficult to get the actors to perform naked on set? Were there any things you had to do to accommodate um, those scenes? 
There are naked actors. <laughs> Intimacy is just a part of any uh, relationship that's, that's an intense relationship, either a marital relationship or a, a courtship type of relationship. Um, you know, and, and apart from the fact that I think that this is a little bit of a cautionary tale in terms of the evils of abstinence. Um, 